This presentation utilizes time-lapse photography to demonstrate rapid sensitivity testing on positive blood cultures containing gram-negative rods. Three drops from a positive blood culture containing gram-negative rods have been evenly spread across this plate. Kefpodoxime and Kefpodoxime plus clavinic acid discs have then been applied. In the top right hand corner is a display showing the time since incubation in hours and minutes. The time lapse sequence will now run. Going back to an earlier image, taken less than four hours after incubation, the SBL status of the organism can be determined by comparing the zone diameters to the two discs. An ESBL producing organism, as in this instance, is defined by the zone diameter to kefpodoxime plus clavinic acid being five millimeters or more greater than kefpodoxime alone. This plate has been inoculated with gram-negative rods from a positive blood culture and kefpodoxine discs added as previously described. In addition, kefpirome and kefpirome plus clavinic acid discs are present. Kefpirome, like kefepime, is stable to the AMPC enzyme, thereby allowing detection of an extended spectrum beta-lactamase when both enzymes are present. In addition, a gradient strip containing gentamicin has been applied to the plate. As in the past, this will indicate the time in hours and minutes since the beginning of incubation. In this image, taken at approximately five and a half hours after incubation, the zone diameter to kefpodoxine plus clavinic acid is clearly more than five millimeters greater than kefpodoxine alone, indicative of an ESBL producing organism. This is verified by the zone diameters to kefpirome and kefpirome plus clavinic acid. In this instance, however, a zone diameter of more than four millimeters difference greater to kefpirome plus clavinic acid is indicative of an ESBL producing organism. The intersection of the ellipse with the gradient strip is at approximately 64 milligrams per litre, indicating gentamicin resistance. Going back to an earlier slide taken at 4 hours and 35 minutes, both the ESBL status and gentamicin resistance can be detected. The type of illumination has a bearing on the ease of reading the plates early. Reflected light, as used in time-lapse photography, is not the ideal. The purpose of this slide is to show the effects of different types of illumination on plate reading. Both images are of the same plate taken minutes apart. On the left hand side the plate is illuminated with reflected light making it difficult to discern the ellipse. On the right hand side the plate is illuminated with a bleak transmitted light making viewing of the ellipse much clearer. Incidentally the plate also demonstrates that there should be no writing behind the ellipse whether applied by a pen or a laser marker of the plates, as this makes it very difficult to actually judge the intersection of the ellipse with the gradient strip.